this class this semester, I will be talking about my favorite units by Mandacy. The first one is the French fries unit. There is a starch in the French fries. Meaning are also known as um, Amelos and Branded Paul and an I book fiction. When heated to 80 degrees Celsius, water will cause gradual to, to swell, which is called generalization. When we eat a french fry, it goes through the mouth and then a chemical digestion with amylase and digested enzymes for starches. And then mechanical digestive with chewing. Then it is sent through the esophagus by peristalsis to to the stomach where pepsin digests the proteins and then it's mixed with the bile and enzymes in the small intestine. Then the remains are sent through the large intestine and passed through the rectum and anus. The next unit is the bread unit and it's composed of carbohydrates in the form of starches and sugar. Yeast is important because it breaks the starch into meltage and it can break protein chains. Your stomach digests the bread differently depending on the type. The next topic is egg. A lot of us eat eggs for breakfast. and. 70% of the egg has water in it. Eggs are mostly made of water, protein, fat, and minerals. So, monella is commonly found in eggs and it can be killed when you heat the eggs. 90% of the egg white is water. The major protein is ovumium, condomium, and ovumizin. The yolk color is due to the diet of the Prenson's protein. The next topic is cakes and cookies and baking. In baking, you need oil to give it moisture. Oil lipids are composed of one glycerol molecule and three fatty acids. Cookies baking utilizes fat, butter keeps the cookies ensuring they spread darker rather than rice. And then fat and oil have the same lipids. The carbohydrates digest the same way through the mouth, stomach, and then the the intestines. Cookies have a lot have sixty no cookies have six percent of water while cake has twenty five to thirty percent. Food burn illness can be caused by um, the thyroid eggs contacting bacteria. I learned a lot in this class by the macronutrient shelf life, water contact and the chemistry behind the food and how macronutrients digest and acidify.